Research is by far the easiest way to improve your copywriting. Now, you can do that for three reasons. First of all, it's going to give you background, and that will give you information that will make your writing more convincing. That's knowledge. Knowledge is power, as I say. Secondly, it's going to give you context. You understand what the industry is, you understand who your audience are, and where your brand stands. Thirdly, it's going to dig up some gems. These are the facts and stories that make the brand unique. Okay, so let's start with background. Background information is invaluable. It gives you the knowledge which gives your writing authority. You sound like you know what you're talking about. So whatever you say becomes more convincing. This is a stage where you're interrogating the product, answering the why, what, where, when, how questions to find out how it was made, why it was made that way, what does it do, what's the benefit, what's the drawback, and when was it made, how long will it last? What you'll find are the reasons why people should pay attention to what you have to say. If you can find an aspect that excites and intrigues you, then there's a good chance that that will also intrigue your audience. This is the meat and potatoes of the information you're after to help you write. All of the padding and filler to substantiate the point you want to get across will be there. Context. Now, this is important because you want your writing to stand out. And how can you stand out if you don't know where you fit in? I can guarantee whatever you've been asked to write about, it's been covered elsewhere. You need to bring your own slant to that conversation. That can be a different twist, a different tone. It can be a more concise or more expansive version of what's gone before. Your writing needs a point of difference to give your audience a reason to take notice. It's worth saying nobody cares about what you have to say. You have to earn their interest. Context will help you stand out. Digging up gems. Now, this doesn't always happen, but when it does, you hit the mother load in copywriting terms. This is the information that makes me giggle inside. I become that stranger on the bus that starts the sentence with, did you know? These are gems of information that are unique to the product or solve a unique problem or are stories of a, that have never been told. These are the things that you can't wait to get down on paper. This is the information that makes the brand unique and this makes your copy engaging. So those are the why you should research. Now let's look at the how. First stop, the internet. This is your best friend because it will give you access to tons of information all about the product that you're working on and all about the industry and the category that you're working on as well plus the competition you get to research what they are doing what how they are saying what their personality is like and it will also give you some consumer insights if you go to review sites you'll look at what are the issues what are the problems that need to be solved and that will help you come up with ideas and answers to those so do a search on the product itself, do a search on the category, and then do a search on the competition, and then follow any breadcrumbs that get turned up to find out as much information as you can. And that's when I turn to AI to help. A site like Perplexity is fantastic. It'll turn up all sorts of information, plus it will give you citations from uh, where it's from so you can make sure that the information you're getting and basing your copy on is genuine and that's very important um, try asking the AI all of the when where what how questions and then follow those ribbons of information this will generate ideas how to promote something it will give you visuals for print ads ideas for scripts it's a wealth of ideas the drawback to AI is that you have to lead the search. You have to have a base level of knowledge to draw upon. It's your spark of inspiration and your base knowledge that will determine how good your results are. The best research that you can do is talk to people who know much more than you do. For example, I worked on BMW motorcycles and I was very lucky to be sent on a fact-finding mission first to Munich and then to the factory in Berlin. I got taken through the whole production process and got to chat with the design engineers, the guys in the paint shop, the wind tunnel, people who knew the production process inside out. Those conversations can take on unexpected twists and turns and all of a sudden a little fact or story gets dropped into the conversation by accident and you have the concept you've been looking for. 
Working on a honey, I found out that the beekeepers and beehives were flown to the remote hillsides uh, locations by helicopter. So, you know, the bees could fe- feast on manuka pollen. That is a whole different conversation with the beekeeper. Yes, you can write copy just from reading the information that you get on the back of the packet. But if you spend a bit of time digging around, you will turn up gems and that will make your copy so much better. Okay, I hope that persuaded you to dedicate a bit of time to research. It will really, really help. Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas that you'd like me to cover, then please just leave them in the comments. I'm very happy to pick up ideas of what to create new content on and subscribe and like if that was useful. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.